So I'm Professor Russell Wynne of the National Oceanography Centre where I'm Chief Scientist of our Marine Robotics Facility called Marine Autonomous and Robotic Systems or MARS. And the NOC uh, has been a world leader in marine robotics for a couple of decades doing lots of pioneering missions under the ice into the deepest parts of the, of the ocean including with our yellow submarine uh, boat, boat face that hopefully many of you will have heard of. Uh, the NOC is also a focus at the moment for government investment in marine robotics, uh, around £25 million worth of investment in the current decade. And as a result, we've now got a cutting edge fleet of about 40 vehicles that we operate uh, for the support and benefit of the UK science community. As part of that responsibility uh, and with that um, funding and with that infrastructure that we have, one of the things that we've developed is a Marine Autonomy and Technology Showcase, or MATS, which we've been running for three years now. And here I'm sitting on the stage for the uh, 2017 version of MATS, which kicks off on Monday, where we're going to have a range of speakers and visitors coming in, uh, not just from the UK, but from internationally, to learn about the latest developments in marine robotics. So as of today, we've got over 200 registrants coming and we start on Monday morning. We have a really good series of international keynote speakers. They're going to be talking about state-of-the-art in marine robotics, both people that are deploying uh, the equipment, people that are manufacturing the equipment, uh, and also people that are looking to use the equipment um, in the future. And this includes research organisations, university partners, commercial organisations such as Boeing and Schlumberger, uh, and also uh, partners in government such as the UK Royal Navy. On Monday evening we've got a poster session and an icebreaker where some of the younger generation, some of our PhD students, uh, are going to be able to showcase their latest research uh, and have all of the audience uh, participating in that poster session, having lots of networking discussions, so that will be a really good forum for exchange of uh, ideas and, and interest. On Tuesday and Wednesday morning uh, we've then got uh, several tens of technical presentations from a wide range of uh, people, again, those that are manufacturing marine robotics, those that are looking to use it for research and other purposes. Uh, and that takes us through to Wednesday afternoon where we conclude the three days uh, with a focus workshop that's part of our MASMO mission, which is where we basically take some of the new equipment, take it out to sea and demonstrate and trial it. Uh, and in this case it was supported by uh, the UK Ministry of Defence. Uh, so the Wednesday afternoon we'll have that MASMO workshop to look at the initial results of, of that mission. So that's what we're doing over the three days. Um, it's great to see that Max is getting uh, bigger and better as we go along. We've had to build a dedicated marquee, which is the space that I'm in right now, uh, alongside the NOC where we're gonna hold it this year. And uh, we're very excited about welcoming people on Monday morning to learn the latest in marine robotics.